any difference yeah i think now it's better okay it has to be yet yeah it's good now also it's clear right yeah now it's clear good okay so yeah. uh for a uh, main piles in uh, jacket structure the main piles are driven right through the jacket legs or in other words they are called cords so the main legs of the jacket will be called the uh, cord so these are your main legs and so these main legs are called your cords okay and this is a uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is an eight leg jacket and uh, so eight cord jacket or an eight cord jacket so okay. the piles will be driven right through the legs that is the main pile so mm -hmm. in some conditions some soil conditions the main piles might not be enough to uh, the soil might not be enough to support the bearing capacity or the bearing load of the uh, jacket so in that case in order to strengthen the jacket we need sorry to strengthen the soil we might need to give a couple of skirt piles so that is what <laughs> skirt piles are given skirt piles are given in order to strengthen the soil or to consolidate the soil so that more uh, the soil itself will have more of a bearing capacity uh, mm -hmm. to take the load of the jacket so that okay. is the skirt piles which is given in the bottom okay so that is the main pile and the skirt pile so next one is the mud mats so what happens with mud mats is usually mud mats is basically a steel plate uh, mm -hmm. which is given uh, in in some sort of uh, dimensions or in uh, in in some in some uh, design in such a way that it is designed on the basis of something called an on bottom stability analysis so on bottom stability analysis is the jacket is uh, installed on the location at location uh, it is installed and before we do the first pile driving the jacket has to stay in location or has to stay at location it should not be able to float away and go or it should not be able to float and should not be able to move so in order for it not to move what we do with mud mats it's it's a it's a steel plate which the moment you touch the seabed a lot of mud is disturbed there and this mud will be disturbed and once the jacket is sitting on the seabed the mud will come and rest on top of the mud mat so okay. what happens is more weight from the soil itself is sitting on the mud mat and the mud mat is being supported by the jacket so the weight of the mud itself will be will be holding the jacket in place along with the steel plates okay so, so the mud mat like is a is it... steel plate which is having okay. a lot of weight and uh, there is mud on top of it also so that it will still stay in position that is the objective of a mud mat it's like a flat plate fully flat yeah just a flat plate yes okay yeah sure which is reinforced or which will be connected to the jacket braces at the bottom level okay so that is the mud mat okay then we have skirt pre sleeves uh, so these pre sleeves are just for the skirt pile we have uh, sleeves through which the uh, skirt pile will be uh, introduced to the ground so there are some okay. sleeves through which because this is all, this is all at an angle there will be some sleeves from the top and uh, the pile will be inserted through these sleeves so that will it will be at the right correct angle to the soil okay that is the skirt pile sleeves uh, then tubular joints so tubular joints is a specific uh, is a, is a spe uh, specialized design for jackets especially so usually the code that we use for jacket design is something called api code so are you familiar with api api yes yeah no sir i'm not sure okay api is american petroleum institute okay. so all uh, offshore codes basically most of these offshore structures that offshore structures uh, especially related to oil and gas are coming under the purview of uh, api codes so here we are going to be following api rp recommended practice 2a that is the code which we are using for and that is used for offshore structures okay so rp 2a and within that is a specific uh, design called tubular design so this uh, tubular design is specific because in jackets you will be mostly using tubular structures so all the tubular structures when they are when there is a joint between tubular we usually have t joints or k joints or y joints t k y joints so there is a specific design for tky joints and uh, what is the weld thickness or what is the shear stress or what is the punching shear that can be allowed all these kind of values are mentioned in api code so okay. depending on that so we have to designate all these joints as a tubular joint and the and there will be specific design that will be done for all these tubular joints so that is the tubular joint then we have diagonal braces so diagonal brace is your normal brace between connecting two members you have a brace uh, battered leg jacket leg okay so this jacket's uh, legs or cords are supposed to be at an angle and that angle is called a batter okay. so in offshore terms you will call those uh, angle a batter and there are two types of batter there is a single batter and there is a double batter so single batter means when the jacket leg is is at an angle to one direction to maybe an x direction or a y direction that is called okay. a single batter 
and if that the is... oh yeah yeah batter yeah b a double t e r yeah and if the jacket leg is at an angle to both the directions then it's called a double battered leg so and uh, the angle the this this inclination is provided uh, in in some sort of a ratio that ratio is usually going to be 1 is to 8 sorry 1 is to 6 to 1 is to 15 it will be in between that and whether it is a double batter or a single batter usually you'll have 1 is to 6 to 1 is to 15 that will be the usual ratio of the batter and it's to 16 to sorry 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 6 to okay. 1 is to 15 1 5 okay so uh, that is batter then we have something called launch runners so uh, launch runner is something which is related to the operations part which is related to transportation and installation of a jacket so uh, when we actually do an installation job we have different methodologies for installing installing a jacket so we we'll, after this we'll cover the operations part pni part transportation installation and when we cover that we'll be going through the different methodologies for installation of jackets in that one of the installation methods is called launching okay it is exactly what it sounds like you will be carrying this barge uh, sorry this jacket on a barge and from the jacket from the barge you will just launch it into the water okay and when you do launch uh the support has to be provided very minimal support has to be provided so what we do on the jacket is we'll just provide two beams two huge uh, runners which will be just supported by the barge and okay. uh, all the weight of the jacket will be supported on these two runners so okay. that runner is called a launch runner so we can see that detail when we cover up in p and i operations we can see the detail of that uh next is going to be boat landing so boat landing is basically wherever uh, these jacket structures are there up to msl or the mean sea level and uh, the top side is above that mm-hmm. so uh, the whenever you have a supply boat or a crew boat which comes in they come to the boat landing and they can enter the jacket from the boat landing there will be stairs to the top side so that is where we have boat landing and uh, the boat landing will be designed for taking the impact of a crew boat or a supply boat so it will be moved to the boat landing and uh, in specific cases or in in certain uh immediate requirements in emergency situations there might be the requirement of any other bigger ship or a ship uh, coming or a bigger vessel coming and mooring to the jacket itself and in that case the boat landing has to be able to take the impact of such a uh, vessel uh, dynamic impact of such a vessel also on the, the jacket so the boat landing will be designed for all these kind of uh, loads yeah. okay so on the okay so moving on to the deck Uh, there are some more uh, terms in the jacket which as we go ahead we will look into that yeah. uh, going into the deck we have something called cellar deck so cellar deck is going to be the most bottom most deck and that is called a cellar deck uh, okay. on top of that you will have a main deck which is going to be the main functional deck of the top side so all these top sides are going to be designed or are going to be uh, named because of a certain requirement so usually we have uh, process platforms we have well head platforms we have a flare platform or accommodation platform so depending on what is the requirement that whatever is that requirement usually happens on the main deck so that is the main deck uh, main deck is used for that then you have living quarters if it's a standalone jacket and or a standalone platform in which you do not have any other complexes nearby complexes means any other uh, main process platforms or any other accommodation platform nearby you might need to have a living quarters on board so in that case your top side will have a living quarters and a heli deck or a heli port or heli helicopter transportation uh, then you have derrick derrick is usually used in a drilling platform if you have a drilling uh, jacket then uh, you will have to use a derrick usually nowadays we don't have a derrick on top of platforms because uh, there is uh, uh, rigs are available now drilling rigs are available so usually we'll have drilling rigs coming and doing the drilling not on top sides then you have crane so deck crane is used for uh, lifting uh, supplies from the supply vessel or for uh, any maintenance works on top side they need to clean the engine head or to move a uh, valve from one position to another position all these things they'll be using the crane for that so your crane is going to be designed for a huge moment uh, the moment means it, your supply your supply crane will your supply vessel might be coming with 2 uh, to 5 to tons of uh, cargo and your crane has to lift it from the sea level up to the top and maybe even from heli deck your supply will be coming from the heli deck so it has to carry something from the heli deck to the 
living quarters or to the supply store or something like that you will use your uh, then you have your other production equipments and other all modules whichever your general loads or your miscellaneous loads will be on top of the top side so this is an overall overall overview of the top side and a jacket yeah yeah okay so in jacket basically you have jacket legs uh, you have braces uh, joints which we just discussed and uh, launch runners and thrusters okay then you have skirt piles were up okay all other points are all together is called appurtenances so all your boat landing is an appurtenance uh, conductors you have conductors so conductors are the actual flow lines or your actual lines which will be transporting or which will be conducting the oil or gas whatever is your uh, fluid from the ground to or from the seabed to the uh, top side okay so conductor is the one which is going deep into the uh, seabed and uh, it will usually be very uh, small lines or sorry usually be big lines which will be conducting or which will be uh, transporting the fluid uh, this will be normally your gas or your uh, your crude or your oil or whatever is the fluid then you have bracing and guides uh, then you have risers so riser is used for uh, transporting or conduct or moving your fluid from one platform to another or one platform to a pipeline it is used okay. to conduct the uh, fluid from the top side to the ground or to the seabed and uh, so if you have to carry or if you have to move this oil or gas whatever you have uh, uh, now drilled out if you want to move this to the onshore or you want to move this to another platform you need to uh, uh, bring it out to bring it out you have to go down to the seabed again you have to take it to the mud line so the that that pipe which takes it to the mud line is called a riser and that riser is going to be connected to your pipeline and then this pipeline is going to go to the next platform and from that pipeline again there's going to be another riser which will help it to go up to the top side again so that is the so use of a riser yeah. um so whatever we are extracting from the seabed it goes yeah. down again through the riser correct okay. when it whatever happens in the top side happens it uh, the top side might be used for some sort of a processing if it is okay. being processed it will be processed if it is not being processed either way it has to be transported somewhere so uh, whether it is processed or unprocessed it has to be transported so uh, that transportation happens through riser so that's the difference between a conductor conductor is actually transporting it from the seabed to the top side uh, while the riser is doing it from the top side to the mud line or from the mud line to the top side either way uh, then we have clamps so clamps are used to keep the risers in position uh, grout grout is your basic civil grout itself it's a mixer of uh, cement and sand and water and uh, flooding lines flooding lines are used for your tni operations when uh, you need to do control buoyancy of the jacket you will be using flooding lines okay. uh, walkways walkways are used for uh, connection between within the platform itself there will be walkways for uh, walking around and even between connections between two platforms bridges or will be connected between two platforms mud mats as i explained already mud mats are for stability on bottom stability and then you have j tubes uh, which are similar to risers the difference being in risers you actually have fluid flowing through it in j tubes you have cables or umbilicals the cables which will be uh, controlling the valves or your uh, electric power lines or power cables and uh, umbilicals will be used for your valves or for your uh, plate connections or your psv connections all those kind of connections will okay. be using uh, j tubes okay okay then you have in the foundations you will be using piles uh, pile sleeves and grouting grouting is the uh, connection between the uh, as i said the pile is inserted through the jacket leg or through the jacket cord and the pile is connected between each other using that that annulus between them is connected or is grouted and it okay. is connected with the grouting so that is the, that is why we use grout there so for a design of a jacket what we do is basically uh, we have to the relevant codes are uh, rpi 2a this is what we are going to be using okay so i'm not going into design principles of it because we are not going to design the jacket as such one more this i wanted to show you is the offshore operations 